All right, so today I just want to make a quick video on how to replace your DX racer or pretty much any office chair's gas lift. And this has been a pretty annoying problem for the past month when I realized that this chair was uh, failing. And um, yeah, I'm not too happy with this DX racer. It's, there's so many problems. And pretty much this DX racer, if you're wondering, I didn't have a great time with it for the past two years uh, for the price that I paid for. One of the problems that I have with this thing is it doesn't lift as high as I want it to. And this is the Drifter series, if you're wondering. So when I want a nice 90 degree angle with my arms out to the table, I cannot. So what I have to do is change my table legs. And these are the Olo resizable legs here. So. I had to get those to lower the table and even then I still need to lower it even more to get that perfect 90 degree angle so I don't strain my arms or my wrist or whatever. But anyways, um, yeah, so I watched a bunch of videos, apparently you need a hammer and I've got a hammer and a mallet and my new gas lift that I bought for about 20 bucks from Amazon and I hope it's the right size, I kind of measured it, it looks like the right one but who knows. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and uh, guide you guys along with me. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take this thing and put it upside down. So I got this uh, stool right here. I'm going to try to balance it somehow on this thing. So the first thing I'm going to try to do here is take this apart by tapping this a bit here while giving this a little lift. And it's going to be really loud so we'll see how this goes. I was tapping so hard that one of the legs actually fell out. Uh, now to take this part out, what I'm going to do here is just uh, tape this part together. I don't want it to fly around here while I'm tapping it. So. so now I have to take apart this part. So for this what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wear some gloves to uh, grab this thing because this thing does have some grease on it. You can see how much grease there is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it up first. That should be good enough. So this is a really heavy chair, by the way. And I'm gonna have to lift it somehow like this and tap it. The thing is, I don't wanna tap it the method that you're using on YouTube. Some of them would just use a hammer and just hammer on the base. And I really don't wanna bend this part right here. That's why I wanted to bring the mallet, but I don't think the mallet is gonna work. This is all I have, but let's see if it does anything. I doubt it. Nope, that's just sliding. I went ahead and disassembled the whole uh, gas lift uh, assembly. And I'm just gonna hold it like this, using the wrench, and just tap it until it drops because Finally, well, that's actually pretty much it for the hard part. You can see how it's kind of rusted and just really jammed in there. Like, it's pretty amazing how this is actually holding up your chair, especially it doesn't disconnect. You see how much force we had to put in to get this thing out. So that's the old one. Let's put that aside. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is first take this part out, the cover. All right, so here's the old one from the DX Racer that has a bunch of gas leaks and makes a lot of crackling noises when sitting on it and moving. And here is the new one that I got from Amazon for about 20 bucks. So hopefully this will fit in just right and hopefully it will give me extra height over the old one, which who knows. And here's a little modification I've done for the armrest here. You can see that it has actually four screws, but I'm only using two of them and I'm using the ones in the back. And that's because the armrest on this one are a bit too far outwards and they were really annoying and I wasn't getting that right elbow uh, rest. So what I've done is just chipped them over and just used two of uh, the screws. And that's it. So anyways, let's just go ahead and hope for the best. We should be able to drop that right in there. There we go. Very nice. And and while we're here, we're just going to go ahead and dust this thing right here. And take that. Drop it in there. And we should be good to go. And now for the moment of truth. Eee, what do you know? It's done. Extremely hot right now in my room. I would have had the AC on, but I'm recording this video to help you guys out. But... Yeah, it was a success, uh, $20 for a replacement. So now I should be able to get that perfect 90 degree angle for my arms. And yeah, there we go. So yeah, that was just a quick video to help whoever is out there trying to replace their gas piston. I know there's a bunch of other videos doing the exact same thing, but 
this is a DX racer, so if anyone has a DX racer, they can kind of relate maybe. But yeah, I forgot to put that on. But anyways, it was a success. And I didn't use my external microphone for this thing because I just wanted to quickly get this recording out there and not have to worry about too many things because my room is already hot enough during this summer. So yeah, there we go. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this, I guess. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Or who knows? Anyways, take care, everyone.